Uh, hello, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on this Maytag Centennial uh, washer. Uh, my customer's complaint was that this washer doesn't work properly. Uh, the first thing I did was I went through a diagnostic. I didn't show anything. Uh, I didn't get any error code. Everything seems to be working fine on diagnostic. But other than that, uh, when I start a normal cycle on this unit, the sensing light uh, keeps blinking, the door locks, it fills with water, the sensing light keeps blinking and it doesn't do anything after that. You can hear a little bit of um, a funny noise that the motor is going back and forth but it doesn't go to the run cycle. So I found out that the uh, actuator motor is defective on this unit, I'm going to replace it and you guys will see. So I only did is connect the water, the power, uh, the drain hose and I'm going to put it on its side and I'll replace this part. That's 516 drill bits. There's one is two. There's one bolt on this side, one on this side. This part comes out. And you also want to make sure this bolt is not loose because I've seen it on some of these units this bolt comes loose and then customers are complaining that they have problems so the bolt is good um, that's the actuator motor there to replace it you're gonna open the two green uh, Phillips screws and another one is just at the center there can you see it on the camera This is out, and you just disconnect it like that, and here's the new one. And the part number for this one is W. 1006355 that's the part number for this and it goes back if you look at this two uh, plastic pieces uh, there's a slot in there inside you're gonna line it up with this And also at the same time you're gonna line up this here and then you'll put one of your screws and these screws are uh, the reason these screws are green because these uh, the US screws are also used as a ground uh, so this actuator motor is also grounding from the motor uh, cavity to the base of the washer and that's why the the color is green is it the right place oh no okay it's perfect Actually, I'm not gonna put that cover. We're gonna test this washer to make sure it's working, then I'll put that cover back in. It's easy to put it back in.
So that's on diagnostic right now. From di diagnostic, we are gonna go on rinse and then press a start. So this takes the washer to the calibration. Every time you replace a, a control board or any other part, you have to run a calibration cycle on these units. And after the calibration, you can run it a normal cycle. And then you can test it to see if it's working or not. I can already hear that it's uh, spinning, which is good. This indicates that the actuator motor is working and the washer is working. Because with this old actuator motor, um, the washer was not able to go to the full spin. So it was not spinning, it was not agitating. This part fixed the problem. 